traditional TV, traditional rules, uh, long chain full seasons at all at once, uh, not revealing ratings, which by the way, are you planning to reveal ratings any kind of Time soon or something like that. So ratings have been, um, you know, ratings are so interesting for somebody like me who came from that side of the world where everything was about the ratings. You know, we don't sell advertising, so we're not going to release numbers on every single show because we're not trying to sell ads. So that's not really core to our business. We have been sharing more numbers with creators and talent. We have um, some time on the earnings call and a few times, case by case, we've released some numbers. And so we've done it more. We released um, the top 10 list in, in Mexico and, and in other countries. So we've done it a little bit more and more and, and we've done it with creators and talent when it's meaningful to them and if there's some reason to do it. But since we don't sell ads, it's not the core of our business to do it. No, no breaking say thanks. So again, coming back to the last question, uh, Beyond all this disruption, also uh, creating a, a using a subscription-based business model and paying exclusivity contracts with creators. So, with all the things that Netflix has already done and showed in, in the market and disrupt uh, the industry, what would you say uh, are other aspects that make it makes Netflix an innovative company? And what would you say would be your competitive edge now that we are seeing the, the streaming network transforming all around? with new competitors in Atlanta. So, I mean, I think for us, innovation is always important and it's something we talk about all the time. We talk about it on the tech side, that we're always trying to prove the personalization. We're trying to prove when you turn it on, you get a trailer, what, what do you see on your screen, how quick is it. Um, you know, it's, we have so many ways to try to make the experience better. So that we're constantly, all day long, innovating on. And then if you look at things that, you know, interactive programming that we did with Bandersnatch and we did with Bear Grylls, so we're trying to make more interactive innovation through that. The other competitive edge is, you know, we have the freedom as far as the structure of the show. It can be three episodes, it can be eight episodes, it can be 32 minutes, it can be 51 minutes. It can be whatever the right form of that storytelling is. We aren't trying to put it in a box of some sort. Um, and I actually think, um, some people think I'm weird because I say this, but I do believe it. I think all the competitive stuff is great for the business. It's great for consumers that competition is great for everybody. It's great for consumers and it's great for people like us and all these places to stay just more risk taking, more innovative, taking chances and keep continuing to make it a great place to work. And so competition I think is good for everybody. Amazing. So talking a little bit about Mexico, because